Chris Anderson born 1957, is the head of TED, a non-profit organization that provides idea-based talks and hosts an annual conference in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Previously he founded Future Publishing. <laughs> Early life Anderson was born in Pakistan in 1957. His father was an eye surgeon and evangelical Christian", and ran a mobile hospital in rural Pakistan, India and Afghanistan. He has two sisters, and is the middle child. He studied at Woodstock School in the Himalayan mountains of Missouri, Uttarakhand, India, before moving to Moncton Coombe School, a boarding school in Bath, England, at the University of Oxford. He studied physics, then changed to philosophy, politics and economics, graduating in 1978. Topic. Career Anderson began a career in journalism, working in newspapers and radio, including producing a world news service in the Seychelles. Back in the UK in 1984, Anderson was captivated by the home computer revolution and became an editor at two of the UK's early computer magazines, Personal Computer Games and ZZAP, 64. A year later, he founded Future Publishing with a $25,000 bank loan. The new company initially focused on specialist computer publications but eventually expanded into other areas such as cycling, music, video games, technology and design, doubling in size every year for seven years. In 1994, Anderson moved to the United States where he built Imagine Media, publisher of Business 2.0 magazine and creator of the popular video game user's website IGN. Anderson eventually merged Imagine and Future, taking the combined entity public in London in 1999, under the Future U.S. name. At its peak, it published 150 magazines and websites and employed 2,000 people. This success allowed Anderson to create a private non-profit organization, the Sapling Foundation, with the hope of finding new ways to tackle tough global issues through media, technology, entrepreneurship and, most of all, ideas. TED In 2001, the Foundation acquired the TED Conference, then an annual meeting of luminaries in the fields of technology, entertainment and design, held in Monterey, California, and Anderson left Future to work full-time on TED. He expanded the conference's remit to cover all topics, including science, business and key global issues, while adding a Fellows Program, which now has some 400 alumni, and the TED Prize, which granted its recipients $1 million and one wish to change the world. In 2006, TED experimented with posting some of its talks on the Internet. Their viral success encouraged Anderson to begin positioning the organization as a global media initiative devoted to ideas worth spreading. In June 2015, the organization posted its 2000th talk online. The talks are free to view, and they have been translated into more than 100 languages with the help of thousands of volunteers from around the world. Viewership has grown to approximately 1 billion views per year, continuing a strategy of radical openness. In 2009 Anderson introduced the TEDx initiative, allowing free licenses to local organizers who wish to organize their own TED-like events. More than 10,000 such events have been held, generating an archive of 100,000 TEDx talks. Three years later, the TED-Ed program was launched, offering free educational videos and tools to students and teachers. In May 2016, Anderson published a book titled TED Talks, the official TED Guide to Public Speaking which offers tips and advice for public speaking. The book became a New York Times bestseller. In April 2018, he unveiled a major upgrade to the TED Prize titled The Audacious Project, seeking to raise significant funding for bold philanthropic projects. Personal life Anderson is the father of three daughters, Zoe, Elizabeth and Anna, with his first wife Lucy Evans. The eldest, Zoe, died in 2010 aged 24, from carbon monoxide poisoning. Since 2008, he has been married to Jacqueline Novogratz, founder and CEO of Acumen, an organization that pioneered social impact investing. <laughs> 